Hi guys, welcome to the channel, general love reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for August 2022. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Alright, alright, all these cards wanted to come out. So, my goodness, current situation, the tower, five of swords, death card and wheel of fortune what a combination this one is our challenge knight of pentacles and the lovers crowning energies temperance major arcana and the knight of wands core of the situation hierophant four of cups in the past the full and the eight of wands in the future, page of wands, five of wands, our focus, six of swords, and the queen of cups. Bottom of the deck, nine of cups. We have to be a little bit careful with this energy because it can be about a wish granted, but also about someone that thinks to be the smartest of the tribe, even someone that can be arrogant. Again, flipper, guys, get more information and let go, which can be more than an option if we follow these energies. And the bottom of the deck, perfect timing, which is the Wheel of Fortune. So, uh, it can be a third party situation, this one, guys, unfortunately for some of you. There is a crossroads ahead, but the Tower and the Death card, oof, this connection is truly almost over, you know, we can say that. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Hammer, sabotage. Uh, this is a factor. Rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, even repetitive can be about something that was going on for quite some time. Persistent, working on it. Bottom of the deck, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. Flirting can be. Some of your persons can say, look, it was just uh, a stupid flirt. This is the choice of words that is coming to my mind. Something done in a superficial way. All right, but it was done. You know, we cannot erase it. We cannot cancel it. That's why the arrogance um, coming from the man in the red hat, which is basically the same arrogance that we can associate to the man in green and red in the Five of Swords. And so, guys, this Wheel of Fortune is about the time factor, time sticking, but this connection is approaching a closing point, which is a revolutionary one, not an easy one for some of you. I cannot make circles. This is a challenging situation, especially if this is a marriage, guys. Because if that's the case, uh, the tower is falling down. Unexpectedly, yes, but it is possible that the situation was playing out uh, for quite some time. Kind of behind your back. And so, the tower falls down because if we follow the meaning of the energy, we can lack solid foundations. In this case, in this case, the mentality, the mindset between some of you and some of your partners, the mentality was not the same. The mindset was not the same because they took action in order to please their senses, you know? 
It can be a matter of lust and desire. And maybe they were thinking to be the smartest of the tribe. The tower is about uh, getting caught. Guys, some of you can be like the Divine Bolt. Kind of able to find out something uh, or in a position to show up all of a sudden somewhere and your person can be or maybe was already like um like a deer you know uh, like a deer in the middle of the lights of a car you know i hope that you can get to the point meaning they can be truly uh, caught with their hands in the cookie jar let's say this way to make my point clear and that's why the situation can change in the challenge knight of pentacles and the lovers this can be an apology the knight of pentacles can be about that but the knight is also the slowest of the four and so time is running out and even if an apology comes your way, it is not said that the crossroads for you can be um, one able to offer the opportunity to give your person another chance. It is not said. Because the man in green and red is holding three swords, so we can even talk about a heartache a heartbreak, broken trust, a vow. Guys, if it is a marriage, because of the Hierophant, there is a vow that uh, was broken. And how can we overlook that? Plus, I am looking at the Get More Information Oracle card, and this is about finding crumbles. Uh, so we decide to follow them and we discover something that we didn't expect. This is the concept. That's why the heart overhead decision can be something that can bring some of you guys um, to follow your heart in order to row your boat forward, but leaving behind a situation that was a complicated one, rough waters behind the boat, and also one that can be influenced by rumors, gossip, because of the Five of Wands influence. And so, guys, crowning energies, we get the Temperance and the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands can be your person, basically. Even someone hot and cold, easily distracted, uh, someone that can lack consistency, This person is coming um, out um, from these energies like someone that uh, gets bored easily and so they have to keep themselves uh, kind of busy, you know? They have to find every time something that can um, bring up their level of attention. But then again, consistency is not um, their forte and a problems can come because of that then they can say to you look I beg you let's work things out let's fix this situation I will I will do whatever you say I have to do and boy these words what do they even mean you know what are you saying Knight of Wands what are you saying This is about taking the higher road, guys, for some of you, because there was no real divine alchemy in this situation, and without a real alchemy uh, coming from the two partners, it is uh, difficult to uh, find a wish granted in the long run. Instead, there was someone that was kind of putting themselves on a pedestal. Your person was putting themselves on a pedestal because they were pursuing flings 
stupid flirts, you know? And if there was a betrayal, guys, of course, uh, we can already tell that uh, this connection is almost over. And in the core of the situation, there is another interesting combination because the Four of Cups can follow the request, let's say request, or uh, let's say that uh, your partner can say, let's work things out, and the offer to work things out can be the divine offer that we see in the Four of Cups. Some of you can be closed off, like the man, because you are thinking about the past. So basically what happened, maybe multiple times, you are not uh, thrilled um, by the idea to fix the situation because you are basically disappointed, uh, quite angry, it is uh, fair to say that hurt, it goes without saying, and you are not having it. You do not want to deal with this person uh, when they uh, kind of pretend that everything can be fixed. And so that's why some of you might not be available to work things out and instead uh, you might think that it is time for you to let go and take the higher road in order to move forward, move on. The Hierophant guys, if this is a marriage, this energy was compromised and it is going away, tower, death card, because a chapter can find a closing point. For those of you that maybe mm, are not married, maybe this was the goal in favor of the partnership and now it is something that we cannot achieve. Because unfortunately, the other person was not able, or still is not able, uh, to pay the proper uh, respect to the connection. They cannot honor the connection in the, in the right way. And that's why this is going down, truly. Considering the boat in the Six of Swords, the boat is sinking. And in the past, guys, the full, let's say the beginning of the connection, a leap of faith, there is the sun, top corner, in the full major arcana. So the choice to be together was perceived as an opportunity to be successful together. It can even be the Nine of Cups. It was a passionate connection. We can say that, after all, this person works in this way. Cupid's arrows, arrows of love, you know, one of those connections that can start because um, the interaction is on point, uh, we enjoy each other's company, we have fun with each other, there can be a lot of passion. This is absolutely a factor. But then, basically, the modus operandi of your person was like a double-edged sword. Because basically, this modus operandi also worked against your connection. And if we shift our attention to the Page of Wands, Five of Wands combination of energies, we know a couple of things. We know that the Page of Wands can be lovely, like all the pages, but it can be perceived as superficial. And maybe there was a poor mistake, a poor judgment coming from your person because they were thinking to be smart, they acted uh, superficially, and now there is going to be a huge price for them. And the Five of Wands, guys, unfortunately, seems to be about gossip. So people keep talking, they can say what they like always quoting one of the Alicia Keys songs and some of you some of you might not like that because being the object of uh, conversations you know uh, and yes gossip is the word other people talking about what's going on because maybe this person, your person was not careful and uh, someone else was aware of 
what they were doing and this is an energy that can bring confusion guys noisy and annoying energy the five of wands plus it can be about inner conflict which is understandable basically uh, because some of you some of you were taken advantage of by your person it is even possible that um, you can call them out kinda saying that uh, they were immature, childish, naive, you know, superficial indeed but if that's the case basically we are questioning the intentions of this person and we know that the Queen of Cups is the energy of someone that is able to realize uh, able to figure out if the intentions uh, that can be in favor of a connection are truly genuine and sincere to find success moving forward this one doesn't seem to be the case because the five of swords is an ego driven energy and it's like dealing with someone that wants to have the last word about something even if it doesn't really matter but you know this is an unfair game it's a wicked game it cannot last because uh, the people surrounding the man can get tired and they can realize that the situation is clouded not fair not respectful and that's why it can be wise to remove from the scenario leaving the man behind stay alone whatever you say and talk about a satisfaction then this is the this is the bitter pill you know because your person can be left behind with their sorrow because they literally threw away a positive connection with someone that was available to work positively for a connection for them for whatever reason it wasn't enough they wanted a different level of entertainment uh, they found it but they also found troubles and basically the consequences are about to unfold and the tower is falling down but you know what um, you can come out from this situation on top allow me to say no pun intended I mean you can truly bounce back stronger than this person because basically for some of you despite the disappointment guys there can be the realization that the connection was missing something from the side of your person and maybe maybe you can find uh, something or someone better and in order to do that there can be the need to take care of the practicalities especially if uh, this is a marriage and then um, also the need to row our boat forward kinda leaving this confusionary person uh, behind and also the gossip that they brought up around your connection even around your house you know because it's like uh, when the neighbors uh, already know something about what's going on uh, in a family Oof, let's see guys where these energies are going I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful there is an extended on Vimeo I'll see you there if you wanna join me the link is below if you resonate let us know leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time I wish you all the best take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon bye